the best thing that I had when I stumble across the greatest secret. It's a fantastic book. If you listen to it from innocence. So the best thing that I had then was innocence. I was so ready. To let go of whatever I believe was true. No, no, Ginger. That I applied everything that was said in this book to the letter. When Rhonda Byrne said, the practice of welcoming. When she said Let me see everything I think she said it in the book That she was uh, willing to see everything When, when she mentioned the practice of welcoming, I had never heard about it. And that was my salvation. I was so innocent. I knew nothing, nothing about non-duality. I never heard the word. I was not a spiritual seeker. I was just seeking. Ah. <sighs> Harmony is the only word like I couldn't deal with suffering anymore. I couldn't I Couldn't like I was so done with it And my <laughs> Salvation was that I tried it I sat I remember I sat at my kitchen table alone and I opened myself to welcome whatever was present and what was present was sadness loneliness utter desperation hopelessness and for the first time in my life I fully allowed it to be without any resistance like I'm gonna do this thing that she's mentioning I open my arm open my hand and welcome all of it as if this is my best friend what would I say to my best friend? It's okay. I hear you. I see you. I love you. And I did it with so much open heartedness that it all dissolved into peace. And I was astonished. Like that propelled me to bliss. That alone propels me into bliss for weeks. I couldn't, I couldn't believe how could this happen? How could this all dissolve all at once into an immense peace? And from there, like I was like, smelling something like there's something there and that ignited the fire within to realize truth when there is no contraction in yourself 
when there is so much openness without the need, like without trying to get rid of anything, just open this infinite openness, nothing stick, nothing stick, nothing can stick to nothing. When you are so open and empty, nothing can stick. And so that was the beginning of the end of suffering. It, it took me a few years unraveling pain body. It took me a few years. So yeah, there is a process until there isn't, until you realize that nothing needs to be processed. In fact, even that is a belief. The belief that I'm progressing. <laughs> but until that is revealed, then there is a process until there isn't. The more open you are, the more you trust the process, the easier it is. Just reclaim innocence. Reclaim your innocence. Everything is laid out in that book so clearly explained every time you see something you only see it now every time you saw something it's only seen now so you're never seeing the same thing even if you feel like you're walking the same road every day it's not the same you're never seeing the same thing an illusion the light is different your sensation the temperature the smell it's never the same thing nothing is ever the same thing so the welcoming practice It still implies a separation of someone who's welcoming something, but it's truly powerful to bring you to the dissolution of the sense of separation. Gratitude. Gratitude is so underrated. It's such a powerful. reframing perspective gratitude is reframing your perspective and your perception really powerful wow look at that look oh my god I, it's soon to be fall here it's really soon though for a tree to be red we're only September 1st. Normally it's like mid mid October. No, beginning of the of October is going to be the like the color are going to be on fire. Yeah. You know, approach life from innocence and curiosity. It's very powerful. What if I knew nothing? What if I believe nothing? What if I'm just, you know, innocent? How would I live from that innocence? And at the same time, you can still have, you know, be practical. 
you can be practical and live in innocence. <laughs> like a wise baby. You can be a wise baby. I heard that from someone else. The innocence of not knowing, being okay without, with not knowing. Every moment is infinite possibility, infinite potentiality. You have no baggage. There is no baggage that you need to sort through or carry you can drop it all at once every moment you can drop your baggage oh my god the bliss of that it's just a recognition i don't need to carry this baggage it's done it's done Bye.